a candidate you hear very little about. He's got big plans, though, if he occupies the White House. A consumption tax instead of an income tax. An audit of the Federal Reserve. Legalizing pot, just to name a few. Gary Johnson was a two-term governor of New Mexico. Now he's running for president on the libertarian ticket. What would the U.S. economy look like if he were in charge? Joining us from Tampa is uh, former Governor Gary Johnson. Governor, good to see you. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Bill, Michelle, thank you for having me on. I watch CNBC all the time, so wow, well, I get to be we, on Closing Bell. Well, we, <laughs> we appreciate that. Thanks for joining Lattery us Lottery will get you everywhere. Uh, just, <laughs> I, I know you and Michelle think a lot alike on a lot of these issues. First of all, let me just ask you, what are you doing in Tampa right now? I got invited here to uh, address Paul Fest, so I took advantage of that uh, invitation. I spoke to them a couple of days ago and thought I would hang around maybe to get an opportunity like this. So thank you for do this you, opportunity. You bet. Do you think you will have Ron Paul's backing? He's been very tepid. He can't bring himself to, to uh, endorse Mitt Romney. What do you think? Do you, will you get his backing? Well, I'll just say that uh, he asked me for my endorsement in 2008. I readily gave that endorsement. Um, really, I think I've been saying the same things as Ron Paul. So when it comes to Ron Paul supporters, are they going to vote for Romney or Obama or me? And I want to point out that of all the third party candidates, uh, only one third party candidate is going to be on the ballot in all 50 states, and that's going to be me. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that's also very significant in this, uh, in this equation. Here's the greatest softball I have ever thrown. Um, you have 1% of right now in the polling, so almost nothing. I don't understand why there aren't more libertarians in America. I think the average American is basically a libertarian. They're fiscally conservative, socially liberal. Stay out of my pocketbook and out of my private life. I wrote a whole book about it. You can feel free to buy it. Why do you think that this message isn't more pervasive across either of the parties? Um, I think it is. Uh, I think uh, my voice is representative of the fastest growing segment of American politics today, and that's just that. The notion of being fiscally responsible, uh, socially accepting, that's speaking with a broad brush stroke. So I'm the only candidate that uh, doesn't want to bomb Iran. Let's get out of Afghanistan tomorrow. Uh, but, you only marriage have equality. Let's but you only have 1%. I mean, you could be the fastest growing because you're working off a very small base. Well, that, that might be the case, but um, I'm doing what I can do, and I think that that's very important in this equation, and I'm willing to bet that, uh, uh, that there will be momentum on, uh, on election day. Look, uh, let's, uh, let's reform our tax system. Let's abolish the IRS. Um, let's abolish income tax, corporate tax. Let's balance the federal budget tomorrow. Uh, end the wars, stop the spending. Uh, where is this being represented by either of the two old parties? At this point, what's expected to be a tight race, Governor, do you worry at all that you will steal some votes away from Mitt Romney that would otherwise go his way? No, I think, uh, Bill, it's been put to the test in four different states. Uh, and by the way, the, those four states, uh, the polling was somewhere north of 5 and 6 percent. But in the four states where it was put to the test, in two states I take more votes away from uh, Obama, in two states I take more votes away from Romney. People really do care about civil liberties. I think people really recognize that uh, we, we are on a course of fiscal disaster unless something gets done. And I am proposing to balance the federal budget in the year 2013, which would be a 43% reduction in federal spending that if we don't do, you know, you, you all talk about it all the time. Uh, I'm in the camp that believes we're going to suffer a monetary collapse if we don't uh, get this under control. And nobody's talking about control. Republicans are going to balance the budget in 28 years, and that's contingent upon uh, growth occurring also. Um, I don't know. I don't think it addresses the problems. I love your focus on the fiscal issues, uh, but when I'm sitting around with libertarian friends, and I do have some, we, we do a game. How libertarian are you? Tell me, if you were judging Lance Armstrong today, would you have punished him for what he did or didn't do? Well, yes. Uh, it, uh, you know, there are rules, and uh, of course, uh, Lance has never admitted guilt. He hasn't been proven uh, to be guilty but in you know, all the drug tests. You know the spirit tests. of the question. All these things about athletes taking performance-enhancing drugs. Should they be allowed to? 
No, because it's part of the it's part of the rules, and there are. It, it, <laughs> Michelle uh, cycling happens to be one of my uh, passions. Uh, oh. There are all sorts of There are all sorts of participants in the Tour de France that don't take drugs. Uh, one of the uh, one of the real uh, issues right now is who does the Tour de France title get given to? And you know they're talking about going dropping down to 15th place. In the year in the year uh, 2010, 19 of the top 20 cyclists in the Tour de France have been disqualified because of illegal drug use. Uh, because of drug wow. use. So uh, it's it's the rules, and uh, everybody needs to conform with those rules. And taking these uh, performance enhancing drugs. You have drugs, just made really. Bill Griffin's day. He is Governor, so happy. <laughs> Governor, I, I made that very argument to her earlier, but. I'm glad you came on my side on that one. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you for joining us. Uh, it was a real pleasure having you with us today, sir. Great being a, a thrill for me. Thank you. You bet. Gary Johnson, who's the Libertarian candidate for president this uh, season.